Hi and welcome to a video that is going to be about information architecture in web design. Um, you might ask yourself if you are a small business or a uh, startup or non-profit organization, why should I know uh, anything about information architecture? Well, information architecture is really the building blocks or the 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 base of a website. This is where you find out and figure out uh, what your website should contain and uh, and uh, how uh, you are going to build uh, the w uh, the website, where uh, are uh, different uh, parts of the website going and so on. So this is a uh, really important uh, part of uh, designing a website, and uh, it is always great to. Uh to to uh, be able to know more about this uh, as you are working together with your web designer uh, in uh, in building your website. So what is information architecture uh, exactly? Well, as you see here on uh, on this slide, um, the website is uh, 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 you know uh, built up of uh, information information architecture. This is the way we structure our information and uh, our content on uh, the website and uh, this structure is defined by uh, these three uh, uh, things here your brand and your users needs and your goals so your brand uh, what what is it that people uh, are thinking when they are thinking uh, of your uh, uh, business or company uh, what is it that uh, you know? Wha what is what is what is your company known for? What are your brand value values and and so on? Uh, this is uh, a big part of defining uh, how your website is uh, is laid out. Users needs and users uh, in general users needs uh, are a part of your user profiling if you haven't done user profiling for your website or, or your business you should really get into this and uh, and find out more about uh, how to create uh, user profiles um, and users needs uh, you know users have goals that's why they contact your company so what are their needs uh, and how can uh, how can your company or your business fulfill uh, the user's goals? This is also a, a big part of uh, uh, how uh, you should uh, build your website. Lastly, your uh, your goals. You know, what are your goals for the website? What are your business goals uh, for this website? Uh, are you going to uh, collect uh, email addresses, contact information? Um, are you uh, going to sell something uh, in, in your web shop? Are you going to, uh, you know, uh, make it understandable for people uh, which services you provide to them and uh, and what the pricings are? Um, you know, w figure out your goals, uh, and and this is really uh, tied into your business goals. And these three things uh, make up the website and the inf information structure of your uh, uh, on uh, of your website. So how do you figure out your information architecture? Well, as I said, as I said uh, previously, uh, brand and brand identity are really important to uh, to to figure out, and uh, they are two different things. You know, brand are uh, the things that people think about when they see your logo uh, uh, or or hear your your company name, and uh, this is how your company is perceived in 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 the the public and uh, by the the customers and the identity is you know uh, the the uh, um, the look of uh, of your um, website or look of logo you know how does your logo look which colors are you using which fonts are you using um, all these uh, things uh, make up your uh, identity and uh, usually if you have a great designer you will have a stylescape showing all these uh, things number two use user profiles as I talked uh, about before to uh, make these user profiles if if you have a lot of different types of customers make uh, three or four user profiles to figure out who you're talking to who uh, who are the recipients of uh, of your content uh, which 
what kind of people are you building your website for you're not you're not building your website for yourself um and a lot of people make this mistake so figure out who you're making your your website for and what are their needs number three goals for goals for the business efficiency um and uh, awareness uh, figure out as i said before also uh, figure out your business goals and what you want out of this uh, website also figure out uh, if this website uh, could benefit your business uh, uh, efficiency you know uh, uh, c- can you save some uh, internal resources or save some time or uh, uh, you know uh, can can your your customers uh, uh save some time uh, by building features on your website um, and raise awareness uh, of your brand and your products or your services uh, this is also a important thing to think about when you are designing your information architecture and these uh, things result in uh, number one wireframes wireframing is, uh, is a, a basic way of displaying uh, the different uh, pages of your website in a black and white manner uh, so it really just uh, shows where different uh, element elements of each uh, website is, uh, web page is, is going and I will make a video uh, later on uh, that goes deeper into this number two sitemap a sitemap shows uh, which pages are going on your website and which order they are going in and you know the general structure of your website and uh, as i said how many pages how uh, many uh, choices should people have from the main menu and uh, and so on so my question to you is is this method applicable uh, for all websites you know, um, as a uh, full-time freelance web designer with a lot of years of experience, you know, I I really uh, like working this way, and you know, uh, I I really uh, like um, w- uh, working through the process and and figuring out, uh, you know, why should we have uh, these uh, features on. Uh, on this website and why should my uh, clients have these features uh, it is a really important thing to uh, not just to to get the ideas to to which uh, parts uh, should make up a website but also why they should uh, make up a, a website but um, web projects are different and uh, there are all kinds of different sizes of companies and websites so uh, what what do you think is this uh, overkill uh, when doing small websites or um, or is this a, a great method to to develop uh, all sizes of websites i uh, i would really like to to hear from you and uh, if you have any questions or any comments please uh, feel free to write them uh, in the comment section below um, I'm always happy to connect with you on Twitter or Facebook or you can subscribe to my channel to uh, to get the latest updates in uh, videos. Um, that's all for now. Uh, don't be a stranger. See you later. Bye.